The health experts say they're keeping a close look on those numbers to determine if they need to step in for assistance. Devin Johnson tonight tells us more. Because COVID is a national uh, issue, there's a staffing shortage everywhere. There are more than 218,000 confirmed COVID cases and 4,200 deaths in South Carolina, according to the state's health department. John Williams is the director of disaster preparedness for the South Carolina Hospital Association. He says staffing is the major concern as the numbers continue to rise in the state. Here in South Carolina, we tend to build out our hospitals so that every bed possible within a hospital can uh, be there for surge or be available for surge. But if you don't have the staff to man those beds, you just have a bed. The increase in positive COVID cases forced the Orangeburg County School District to move 100% online until after winter break. And a Lexington one third grade teacher recently died from the virus. News 19 reached out to the South Carolina Emergency Management Division to see if any hospitals requested assistance. Since the spring, we've kept in very close contact with all of the hospitals in the state um, as part of our medical surge task force. And so far, we have had not had any requests for state assistance from either our hospitals or our county emergency managers. The SCHA spokesperson says residents should not be concerned about hospitals' capabilities as the numbers increase. He goes on to say, folks should be concerned on the roles they play, how effectively hospitals can tend to needs. If you limit these large gatherings, you limit the possibility of community spread, which then limits how many people may end up in your emergency room. In Columbia, Devin Johnson, News 19, WOTX. And the State Emergency Management Agency says they do have a hospital surge plan in place if there is a need for assistance.